Hi guys, this is Leah and Kira, your lifeguards for 2020. Today we're gonna make a craft with you guys. It's called Salto. This is like one of my favorite crafts to do because it's super easy and you have all the ingredients in your kitchen. So first things first, you need a mixing bowl to mix all your things inside. And whichever, what is this, utensil, you decide to use to mix your things together. Do you wanna tell us what the other ingredients are that we need? Salt. Nice. And flour. Nice. To make your dough. And water. Yes. Which is not optional. We're gonna use one cup of flour. Clink. We're gonna use... <laughs> Half a cup of salt <laughs> and half a cup of water. And you're gonna want a big pan or a medium sized pan or a small pan, whichever you decide, <laughs> with tin foil on top. That way, the salt dough, when you cook it, won't stick onto your actual pan and you won't have to do any dishes. So, that's just a little tip for you guys. Here's gonna measure out the flour. Get a buddy to help you. Or your mom's dad. And then half a cup of salt. Nice. The water you'll want to add gradually. Don't dump it all in at once. Just in case it turns out you don't actually need the whole thing. Then your dough won't turn out to be super sticky. And then you mix it. If you've been to camp before, it looks a little bit like trail bread that you would make with Ian. If your dough is like too sticky, just sprinkle some more flour in. So once your dough starts to feel kind of like Play-Doh, then you know that you're good to go. It's not too sticky. If it is too sticky, just keep adding some more flour in it. And now you can mold it into anything you want. We're gonna take some little pieces off it and make some fun shapes. If you flatten out the dough a little bit, you can like slice it up with a knife to like make any shape that you want. Hopefully you're making this in your kitchen so that spiders are not crawling all over your legs like they're crawling all over mine right now. Kira and I are gonna make friendship coffee mugs. And then we're gonna test them out for you guys later. We don't recommend that you yourselves drink from a salt dough coffee mug. That's one, disgusting. you shouldn't be drinking coffee at all. And two, it'll be yucky. <laughs> so. We've got a pan full of cool stuff to cook. So now that you've made all your things, you can wash your hands and you can ask your parents to set your oven to 400 degrees. And then we're gonna cook these in the oven for 25 minutes. So if you have some things that are thicker, like maybe a mug, or something like this shape that Kira made. It might not cook all the way through. Um, it might take a lot longer to cook than the other things, but if you have thin things like these little earrings, um, they'll take a lot less time to cook all the way through. So we're gonna put them in the oven. Two hours later. Okay guys, we're gonna put the salt in the oven. The salt in the oven. Open the door. Here, gonna put that guy in there. Don't touch the hot part with your hands. so good like I want to eat it so now that you've taken the things out of the oven they should look like this <laughs> they should look like this you can see. some of the things are a little bit darker they cooked a little bit darker just because they were thinner and some of the stuff that's really thick is not so you might have to take some things out early and leave some things in longer but it's important to wait for the things to cool down though before you paint them, otherwise the paint won't stay on the things that you made. Anyways, so you guys can get out your paints. We've arranged ours to look very aesthetically pleasing for you. So get out your paint, get out your paintbrushes, get some water. 
and a paper to dry your brushes on. And I don't know if you can see, but lay down some newspaper or a placemat so that you don't get paint on your mom's table. Okay? Or we don't want you to get grounded while you're in quarantine. That would suck even more. Oh my gosh, this is like shred green. Ooh, I can now. Two thousand years later. Okay guys, now that you've finished painting your things, Kira and I finished. We didn't paint everything, but we picked some of our favorites. So some things that we made are this nice little pot, a little Yeah, a little joy box to put treasures in. Um some cool earrings. You can be really artsy and funky and fresh. And this little a nice little nice mask chain. And a multi <laughs> Watching. Um, we hope you had a fun time hanging out with us, making crafts. You can stop having <laughs> You can send uh, pictures of the things that you made with Salto and the Camper Mosa page, and we'll share it so that everybody can see what we're all doing at home in quarantine and what we're doing up here at camp. So we miss you and we hope to see everyone soon. Bye! Nice. Oh, oh yeah, my earring looks so good.